From grease dumpsters to college campuses, small farms to the Capitol building, across mountains and deserts, through forests and prairies, from the Atlantic to the Pacific, and back again. Biotour is a journey into America, aboard a recycled vegetable oil and solar powered school bus. Hi, I'm Alan. Hi, I'm Ethan. And we're the co-founders of Biotour. Biotour began as an adventure. We wanted to explore our country and what better way than on a vegetable oil powered school bus. Our cross-country adventure quickly became more of an odyssey as grease fill-ups and breakdowns diverted us from the main highways, leading to countless unexpected encounters. We were amazed by the curiosity and excitement of hundreds of people we met along the way, from bankers to truck drivers, from skaters to waitresses, from students to professors. We discovered at least one issue that united, renewable energy and sustainability. Though the language was often different, some called it energy independence or environmental stewardship, Everyone we met recognized the danger of our addiction to fossil fuels and the necessity for sustainable solutions. But we also found a sense of uncertainty and powerlessness, people who were ready for change but looking for direction. It was those interactions that inspired us to turn our adventure into something more. So we installed a new vegetable oil system, gathered a crew, and incorporated it as an education nonprofit in the spring of 2007. I'm Fernando Ocin and I left my consulting job a year ago to join Biotour as the Director of Outreach. I'm Jenny and I've also been on Biotour for about a year as the photographer. Our mission is more than just demonstrating waste vegetable oil and solar technology. The Biotour bus is literally a vehicle of communication. We support the growing sustainability movement, uncovering the root causes of our society's unsustainable habits, and exploring the challenges and opportunities Americans face in this time of transition. Over the past year and a half, we've visited 45 states and traveled over 60,000 miles on Greece. We've held more than 100 educational events at universities, K-12 schools, conferences, and community gatherings. We participated in PowerShift 2007, joining thousands of students from across the country in Washington, D.C. to fight for a clean and just energy future. We witnessed mountaintop removal coal mining in West Virginia and talked to the activists who are trying to save the mountains and communities of Appalachia. We stopped by Abundance Eco Village in Fairfield, Iowa, a community powered entirely by wind and solar energy. We farmed the fields of a community-supported biodynamic farm in Covalo, California. We shared Thanksgiving dinner with the people that are trying to rebuild the Lower Ninth Ward of New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. We swam in the lakes of Wisconsin. We hiked in the Badlands of South Dakota. We surfed under the full moon on the coast of Florida. And we've met so many inspiring people. Like Lonnie Gamble, who not only teaches sustainability, but lives it too. Judy Bonds, who will stand strong and speak loudly to stop the destruction of the Appalachian Mountains. Connor John Taylor, a jazz musician, activist, and brilliant mind who celebrates the importance of art. And Martin Gashosoma, one of the last Hopi elders who teaches his ancient wisdom to guide us through these changes. As this election season approached, we saw an opportunity to engage the American youth, to get involved in this movement and activate our democracy. Nine amazing and talented people stepped forward to join our crew. Together, we built a renewable energy powered bus and hit the road for Biotour on the Campaign Trail. Biotour on the Campaign Trail is 13 people on a mission to advocate sustainability as an essential goal of society and active democracy as a means to achieve it. One of our primary projects this fall is to help our friends at the Energy Action Coalition with the Power Vote campaign, an effort to mobilize one million youth in this country to vote for a clean and just energy future. Across the country, people are doing amazing things to create a more sustainable world, but the federal government lags behind. If we are to create a world with clean air and water, healthy food and healthy lifestyles, we must exercise our rights as citizens and reclaim our democracy. In this movement, everyone has a role to play. So get on the bus. Get on your own metaphorical bus. And join us on this journey into a sustainable future. This is a call to action.